Hi, and welcome to the Advent of Code 2024. The chief historian went missing. The elves have assembled a list of possible locations, but the lists don't seem to match. Let's see if we can help them. Good morning. We're the guys from Germany. I'm Marcel, and I'm here with Frank. Hello, Frank. Hello, Marcel. And Achim. Hello, Achim. Hello, Frank. Hello, Marcel. Hello, world. Hello, world. <laughs> so, it's day one. It's um, day one, and uh, we are presented with, uh, a, with a list of data two values and uh, for the first part we have to calculate the differences and add them up so as usually we have a parser this time differentiating between uh, the left and ri the right side putting them pairing them and putting them up into a list and then sorting both lists because we have to pair up the smallest on each side going over to the largest yeah, calculating the differences so we get through each uh, each each of these pairings the left side the right side subtract them from each other eliminate the minus if, if it has one and add them up that gets a result well, that's quite a large part, difference. <laughs> that's quite a large sum of differences, yes. For the second part, we have to look... Uh, so we have to go through the left list and look how often these entries occur on the right side. And if we have a given uh, a, a given number on the on the left side multiple times, we have to pr count it multiple times as well. Okay, that's a little weird system of counting, but and okay, <laughs> we have uh, and when we're doing that, so this lower part is going through the left side. We have to take that number and multiply it with a number of occurrences. Uh huh. And to probably, maybe, eventually speed that up by a little bit, I do the counting up on the right side first into a map. So I go, I go through the entire list, and for every entry that I find, I I create an entry into the map or reuse it. And increment it mm -hmm. so that if a certain value on the left side occurs more than once I only need to look it up ah, right might save a bit of time may might not save some time don't know but it's probably the smart way to do it that looks short and sweet Yes, um, I had some hiccups in, in that part, so I used the mm, test data from the riddle to, to run it through. That's mm, that's this run, and uh, found out that I had a by one error on this point because when it first occurred, I increased mm, the count by one too much, <laughs> and the oh. other thing was that I on the first try misunderstood the riddle itself and uh, thought I had to go through both sides and to uh, count up how many times a specific number occurs on the other side. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> so. And that's day one. That's the solution for day one. Thank you, Achim. <laughs> Thank you for having me. All right. See you tomorrow.